Okay, so we're going to go over some ideas from um, lesson 5.5, and I'm not going to go over the whole thing because I want you to grab some of those um, really good pieces of information that you're supposed to learn. Um, we already went over um, how to simplify this. The problem that you're going to have is that you have an I in the denominator, so you need to multiply by something. If you don't remember this, look at some of our past videos on complex conjugate. Um, multiplying here, um, you should know how to do, but I wanted to show you definitely use the box here um, so that you so that you will um, be able to um, multiply this and make it relatively neat. So I'm gonna um, copy this problem here. Actually, let me like actually snip the picture so it's a little bit easier. Um, so I tend to use the array model or the area model. So I'm going to copy that onto here so that you guys can all see this. And then hopefully my iPad goes relatively quickly so that you don't have to lean on any lag. Okay. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw um, a, a rectangular like box kind of thing. So I draw, I draw it relatively big because I, I write big and I want to make sure that you guys can see everything that I'm writing in there. So hopefully, yep, you see that. Okay, so then I'm just going to label everything. And let's see, I got 3 root 5 and negative i. And then I got 3 root 5 and positive i. If you don't recognize that these two are actually complex conjugates, they are. And the way you can tell is that all the numbers are pretty much the same, except for, for your complex number, they're opposites, right? So three plus root five is kind of like your A. This is a gigantic A, right? And you're like, oh, Miss Johnson, it's actually three plus root five. Isn't that two numbers? Yeah, but I can say that like any number that I represent A with, like say 10, I can say that 10 is like two plus eight, right? And then there's your plus b i and the, or actually this is minus b i and this is plus b i and so you should know you should kind of predict what should happen here so let's go ahead and multiply and then make sure that you guys are all set so this is nine this is three root five this is negative three i this is three root five this is um square root of 25 which is just five and then this is negative i root five this is 3i, this is i root 5, and this is negative i squared. So negative i squared is negative negative 1, so this is just 1. Okay, so I'm in this box, I'm just going to put a big 1. I should have made that a little smaller, but that's okay. So then I'm going to go through and find things that are opposites and that cancel. Do you see anything that are opposites and cancel? Yes, you do. That negative 3i and the positive 3i the negative i root 5 and the positive i root 5. And then it, now if you look at it, there are no um, imaginary numbers anymore. So then now I'm just going to add all these together. So then I get 9 um, plus 5 plus 1. That's 15. And then I've got, let's see, I've got 3 root 5 plus 3 root 5 is 6 root 5s, right? And so that's your answer for multiplying um, kind of like these bigger conjugates. Okay, um, use the box, make sure that it makes sense to you. Um, and again, um, if you didn't recognize that these two are multiplying complex conjugates that are, it's like a little bit heftier of a, of a, of a conjugate, that's okay, right? Like that's okay. All right, so I'm going to pause this here.